Hello, if you're starting up your fools campaign and you have a sales navigator on LinkedIn, then this this video is for you. Here we are going to get started with our our sales navigator campaign. So for that, first of all, you need to open sales navigator, put on all the different filters you want. Let's say I'm here. I'm looking for the companies with headcount of one to ten, eleven to fifty, looking for head of sales. In the US and in IT industry, you could have multiple other options available. Like you can even turn on the people who are active on LinkedIn or post it on LinkedIn. You can turn this on to filter down the data. And then you have other filters, uh, like if you would like to search in the groups as well, uh, you can do so. Once you're done with that, you all you need to do is that copy the URL from the top, go back to Link Camp, hit New Camping, click on Flow Camping. And here you need to select uh, your LinkedIn account. Uh, then you can put on, let's say, test sales nav campaign. Then here I will be pasting the URL. Now I can run two type of campaigns using the sales navigator. One is the search campaign simply. The other one is a group campaign. So if I search for some groups over here, then I can reach out to the people uh, in that specific group through the messaging so rather than sending them a connect request i can just send them the messages because by default linkedin allows you to send messages to the people who are in the same group or event that's how you can run your sales navigator campaign uh, now here uh, we first after putting the url over here you we need to set up our flow so like i have some predefined flows or we can quickly create a new flow so let's say first of all i would like to Connect with the prospects. Then I have multiple triggers available where I would like to check if the if the person got accepted my request. Once accepted, I would like to send a, the first follow up message over here. Then I would like to check for the replied. If the person reply after my message, if no, I would like to send another follow up message and then i can have more and more follow up message uh, but for now i'm just setting two follow up message over here all you need to do is that at the end connect all of all the the nodes which are not connected with anything connect them with goal okay and here in this case i would like to send them an email so here in if the person do not accept my request then i would like to send them an email this is a quick tree I have created on the top. First of all, it will filter down the data, which is up to 2,500 prospects from CS Navigator. You can also use the save searches and lead list URL from the CS Navigator. Here I can put on my connect node. So here I have, I can make use of all these placeholders, first name, last name, designation, location, company name, industry. I can use them in my messaging. So let's say if I, uh, or you can also hit this button in order uh, to like make use of any placeholders over here and if i place put on any placeholder it will ask me for the fallback value so fallback value is like somehow if if the person or the first name or this placeholder value does not exist and against the specific lead then it will use this fallback value so set your fall well fallback values as per your messaging you can also leave it blank once we are done with that uh, then we are checking if the person got connected so it will keep on checking up to three days uh, you can increase that because uh, this wait time is just for the no part uh, if we keep uh, sometimes people do take some time to accept the connection request so the more days you are waiting it's better uh, otherwise when the person accept uh, your request even in the first hour it will immediately move to the uh, yes part which is sending them a first follow-up message the first follow-up message will go out after one day. You can also select days, hours, or minutes. Then here you can again use same placeholders to uh, you put on your messaging. Here we have an option skip message if conversation already exists. If you do not want to send a specific message uh, to the prospect, you already had a conversation before, then this message will be skipped. Uh, then here we have the option you can attach PDF files, images, GIFs, and if you're using high price, you can send hyper personalized images as well. Like I have this one, thanks, first name, great to connect with you. If I like to attach over here, it will go out as an attachment with the message. 
or you can also make use of uh, different templates that are available as this is we can we can have the messaging over here then we are checking for reply so we are again waiting uh, checking up to three days and then we have another follow-up message in case the person do not accept our request then we are sending email this is um, free uh, like uh, it will send a free email so we, you can using link camp you can send up to 100 free emails per day uh, here uh, is the subject line for the email and here is the body you can if you want the system to use the credits by default system do not use any credits but if you want to send emails to the people who require credits like if we go over here there might be some profile which require credits if i click over here it's free but if i click over here it says free to open profile so it's free if i send them an email but if there are anybody else uh, like this one it says using one out of 149 credits so in this case if you turn this checkbox on system will send them the email to those pro prospect as well which require credits then we come to the way of our campaign is set up now here we are checking if pause prospect as soon as replies detected if you do not use if reply triggers in between then you can just simply turn this on at any point if the if the reply is detected system will pause the automation for that prospect then we have pause campaign after filtration if you would like to review the prospects before the, the sequence is executed you can turn this on system will filter down the data and before executing the first step system will pause the campaign for you to review and you will receive an email on your registered email address then checking for duplicates send in words and messages from sales navigator if i want to, if you want to send uh, all the invites and messages to go out through the sales navigator and then turn this on by default it goes out from the free linkedin account or basic linkedin account then we have the integration i have hubspot integrated and i can like i want to push the data to the hubspot when a reply is detected so it will push the data uh, to the crm uh, when a reply is detected by a lead so once you once you're done with all the settings just save and start hit save and start button and it will start the campaign so first of all it will filter down the prospects and you may want to you may want to like review the settings your daily limits of your campaign so here you can configure your daily limits uh, go to the account section click on the settings icon and here you can configure your daily limits your campaign will work as per the daily limits and as per the defined scheduler inside the campaign let's say if i go over here i here i have a scheduler tab so system will work as per the defined scheduler over here and as per the daily limits thank you